All right, it's market update time once again, and we're going to have a look at silver and gold. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, let's have a look at silver. Let's have a look at gold and let's actually see what's going on with these markets. Uh, you guys probably saw I'm obviously long in SLV, basically silver. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite a, quite a, quite a, quite exciting times right now for me. And <laughs> I was definitely going off <laughs> on Friday about silver and gold. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so I've had the weekend to calm down now and just relax and have a good look at what's going on in the markets. And uh, yeah, just to come back here with a clear mind and so I can make better trade decisions. Because guys, no matter how excited you are, you've got to pull yourself out of the markets. And uh, Whenever you're in an exciting phase, when you're, whenever you're really, really fearful or you're really, really greedy or you're really, really, really excited, it's in those moments that you should do nothing. So I didn't get out of any positions. I didn't get in any, any positions. I didn't, get in, I didn't get out of any positions on Friday. The reasons why is because I've learned in those moments, it's the worst time to act in anything. It's good to get, and then, so, cause I knew it was Friday. So okay, I'm gonna step back and I'll spend a couple of days and then I'm gonna come back on Monday and then I'm gonna reassess my, my, this, my, my, my investment decisions and then I'm going to make, make a decision based on that. Makes sense? So um, so that's a, a bit, bit of a trading tip for you guys that are looking to become better traders is that that's what you should do. And always monitor yourself. Yes, it's good to get excited, but don't make decisions in that excitement. Yes, it's um, no, it's not okay to be fearful. But we all we all get fearful. It's just just a human nature. But in that fearful moment, when you make a decision, it's always the wrong decision. So that's where, like Friday, guys, I didn't do anything. I didn't get out of anything. I didn't because I wasn't thinking clearly. I was just so excited that what I what I knew was going to happen in the markets, uh, not so much gold and silver, but all the other markets. What I knew was going to happen in the markets has actually is actually starting to happen now. And, uh, and, 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 the, and, and I was so excited because I saw it in the charts. I believed it was going to happen because the charts were telling me that I actually put my money behind what I believed that I was going to see. And for that reward, before that, for the reward for that faith of what I was going to see and what I was doing is actually, is actually getting rewarded for that financially. So I didn't do anything on that. So one, one thing I would do want to say, I do want to say with silver and gold is that we definitely broke above that past that 17 uh, let's actually bring this here this 17 dollar level 1750 level for was that level through there and you can see how that 17 dollar 50 level was indeed or 17 dollar 80 17 dollar 50 around about there was indeed a big big sort of support and resistance level the market actually broke back up and broke back down let me just delete this off the screen here because it's a different pattern now that it's forming overall you see the market has broke up and this recent this recent last couple of times you see how this market actually found support here and today this is this is today's buy this is live action here this is where it found support as well too so so i don't know i don't know what to expect with silver and gold i do expect a lot more upward movement overall but right now we're definitely holding this support level if we do break past that support level we also have this this main level through here this is that main level through there so that's 17,030. If we do start to break below that, then we may have another small dip to the to, to the downside. So that that's what that's what what that's what we may see. So that's what I basically see on the daily chart. Let me have a look at the weekly chart. Let me show you what I see on the weekly chart. The first thing I do want to show you on the weekly chart is we did we did close at a slight higher high. And we actually did make a higher high overall. But you can actually see on this weekly chart, guys, that we have been making a run up for quite some time. So, you know, so to get a small little pullback, maybe for a week or so, for a week or so, is is not is 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 not going to come to surprise if that actually does happen. And let's have a look here and I'll show you here what I'm talking about. You can see here especially on this on this weekly chart here, this is the weekly chart. You can see we've actually had a quite a decent a quite a decent run up from there to there. So a small little pullback, even in down the probably down the seventeen hundred, would would not would not come to a surprise. I actually think that 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 could be a really really good a good opportunity to or it, it may be an opportunity uh, that's that's what may happen in the um in gold and silver. 
So that that's actually silver. But obviously looking at gold, gold absolutely just took off like crazy. Now gold looks a lot stronger, a lot stronger than silver does. So and the reason why is because you can see, let me actually just blow up this chart here. You can see overall that we clearly bested big time, big time on that 1300 level up there, which was such a significant level for most people. Gold just absolutely just went off nuts. And then suddenly we actually had this but this massive move up through here, and then we had a small little pullback, and this is basically today's action. Today is up 1.26% as I'm doing this recording. So to get a, to get a little pullback, to get another little pullback out of that, doesn't look like it's it's not that. It doesn't look like it's it's not that. Um, doesn't look like it, it, it's, it won't it won't come to surprise. And same thing here, guys. If you take if I take everything off the screen, you can see how we've had a big run up and a sideways movement, and we had a big run up as well too. Big, 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 long week. Obviously, big moves for last week as well. Um, and now we've actually this here as well too. So, guys, o overall, by looking at gold and silver, I, I wouldn't be too surprised to see a small little pullback. We're definitely strong, and I'm definitely holding long, meaning I'm, I'm bullish on this. As you guys know, I'm very, very, very bullish. GLD just absolutely just shot up to 4.9%, but SL SLV didn't. Um, let me show you just the SLV chart. Um this is the SLV chart, and, and obviously, I'm, I'm as you guys know, I'm still in my call options through here. I'm still holding strong through here, guys, and and you can see that this this massive gap up through here. So, um, is this a gap and a run, or is this a gap and then a small little pullback and then a run? So overall, guys, I think overall moving, I think we're likely to start seeing some some big. I think overall in the equity market, such as the stock market and the and the and the and the silver and gold, for some reason, guys, I think July is going to be a big month. I think we, I think we. Just, I think things are starting to get heated up right now, so I think July is going to be a big, big, big month for all the metals as well too, as such, and also with the stock market. So, overall, guys, I wouldn't be buying the uh, silver and gold right now because again, you're always looking for a really good opportunity to buy. Um, I wouldn't be buying it right now. That doesn't mean it's not going to keep going up for me, guys. As an investor, for me, or as a trader myself, for m myself, I am, I am always, always, always looking to buy. I'm always looking to buy on a really, really, really good good entry level to buy and then holding on to that. As you, as you guys know, I was very, very patient through SLV. I waited this here. I bought SLV right down here. Um, and obviously, I bought in the money call options, uh, in the money call options, and the market's ris risen up. So for me, guys, I would want to wait to a nice, a nice, good, decent pullback to an just another great entry like this here. This is what I'm all at. Just because I think the market's going to rally. Even if I do think the market's going to take off, there will be another opportunity to get back into silver or SLV at a really, really, really good time as well too. Once again, guys, this here, the reason why I got into here, the reason why I got into to here was because there were so many levels. There was this long-term support level through here and this long-term support level through here. And we came down and we actually made a little close through there. We actually had the... We actually had the stochastic starting to roll over as well too. We had everything coming down through there. To me, it was showing it looks like it's going to be a good time to buy. Now, I didn't know that was going to be the bottom. I just, I really didn't know it was going to be the bottom. But I waited for a good time to buy into it before it took off. That's what that's that's what good traders do, right? And I'm just holding on to this now. I don't need to get out of it yet because there's just no need to. If we close below the 15 level, then that's when I'll start to look, I'll start to look to get out of it. And who knows what's going to happen in the future? But right now, my charts are saying that we'd like it to continue much, much, much higher in um, in the silver market. And so guys, even if I think this market's going to rally up, even if we do get a big rally up, I still think we, we, we could get a nice... It, in every market, we get stair step, a stair step formation. So we will get another... We we will get... And um, let me bring up my eclipse here for a minute. We will get we will get another turning point like this in the stochastic soon. Where we get a big bull market and we get the stochastics like that. And we get that sort of... You can see that point there, if you use the stochastics, that was an awesome, awesome turning point. And that was an awesome, an awesome turning point as well too. We dropped below this sort of 20 line. Same thing for here. We dropped below the 20 line and waited for it to start to pull up. And then that's when I bought into that. And if you guys go back and watch my videos for the last couple of months, you'll be able to see with the silver and gold market, I was saying, look, every time the market got, every time the market got here and the stochastics were there, it was a great buying opportunity. Same great, great buying opportunity. Great buying opportunity. So guys, what I'll be waiting for, if I wanted to get back into silver even more, I'll be waiting for a what? I'll be waiting for another great buying opportunity where the market has a nice run up and a nice pullback in, and then and then I'll be looking for another nice buying opportunity. And I, you know, guys, if you're in a bull market and you're using just this one indicator, 
to help you. One indicator, while while the market has a decent pullback into a nice support level, that, and that, that's key, right? So you've got two levels. You've got one where the market has a big run up and then a nice decent pullback into a, into a good support level while stair-stepping higher, making higher peaks, higher troughs, and then using your stochastics to time your way in while it's at a support level. Those combination guys can really, really, really be powerful long-term over aura as well too. But you need a, you need, you need a market overall stair-stepping higher then you need the market to pull back nicely to a nice good support level and having those stochastics pulling up overall. That that's that's that to me I really, really like that. But again, guys, I'm not that's not a hard and fast rule. I like to use that as a blanket rule, but then I'm also using my gut feeling as well too. I'm also waiting, I'm also being patient, and I'm also just saying it's now a good time to buy in as well too. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. That's a little market update on silver and gold, plus a few other extra things to help you guys out. Talk to you later. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.